Top 10 Electrical Projects for Engineering Students In this video, we are going to talk about Top 10 Electrical Projects for Engineering Students in 2020. Number 1. Minimizing Penalty by Engaging APFC Unit for Industries Due to the lagging load in industries, power factor becomes abruptly low and results in bearing penalty imposed by the electric utility companies. This project improves the power factor by a set of capacitors connected in parallel with the inductive load. See the proposed system improves the power factor by switching the capacitors based on the value of power factor. The circuit is implemented with zero voltage switching ZVS, and zero current switching ZCS, subcircuits. Thus, the obtained voltage and current zero positions of these circuits are used for calculating the time difference between them, and correspondingly the power factor is calculated. Thus, depending on the value of the power factor, the capacitors are connected across the load. Number 2. GSM-based substation monitoring and control system. This project aims to acquire various substation parameters like current, voltage, temperature, power factor, etc., remotely via GSM communication. Thus, the remote operator can analyze these parameter values and take corresponding control action. A user can remotely operate the substation equipment like circuit breakers, isolators, relays, buzzer alarms, and so on. It makes a use of a microcontroller which accepts the inputs and periodically sends the input parameters to a remote GSM mobile through the GSM networks. Similarly, this allows the control signals that are sent from the operators to control the substation equipment. Number 3, ZigBee-based solar-powered forest fire detection and control system. By using a ZigBee-based communication, it is possible to detect and prevent the forest fire remotely. The entire transmitter circuit is located in forest with different sensors like smoke and fire detectors, which are powered with solar panel system. The embedded circuitry in the transmitter circuit collects processes the data and sends the data to a remote PC through the Zigbee communication module. On the receiver side a Zigbee transceiver-based PC receives these signals and correspondingly alerts the fire engines and also actuates the fire protecting equipment in the forest remotely. Number 4. Gestured Controlled Smart Home The Arduino MKR1000 has an onboard Wi-Fi shield that allows other Wi-Fi devices to communicate with it. Therefore we are able to use a smartphone or computer to control the hardware connected to the relay. Then, we can connect the MyoGesture controlled armband to the smartphone through Bluetooth. The same application that sends the commands to the Arduino will also listen to the Myo, which itself is reading the EMG, electromyography, data of the user's armband, after detecting a valid hand pose, fist, finger spread, wave in, wave out, double tap, it sends the message to the Android application. Once the Mayo detects the finger spread pose, the app receives the date to and resends it to the Arduino through a UDP message to the MKR1000. The Arduino MKR1000 sends the data through serial communication to a UI running on the computer. This last analyzes the data and resends it to an Arduino Uno, which has a relay connected and therefore is able to control the lights and other pieces of hardware in the house. Number 5, Touch Up, Control Hospital Bed from iPad. The Touch Up was a project designed for a woman who suffered from multiple sclerosis. It takes a hospital bed and allows the user to control the bed with an iPad instead of the physical buttons. The iPad was chosen as it allowed the user to simply touch the screen. Number 6, PLC and SCADA based traffic control system. This smart traffic control system uses programmable logic controllers, PLCs, 
and SCADU HMI for monitoring and controlling of traffic signals. This system is quite useful in high traffic density areas, toll gates and other high-end parking areas. This is a centralized control of traffic system where it collects the several places traffic conditions remotely through communication medium and this information is monitored using SCADU HMI. Therefore, synchronizing the traffic at different junction roads is possible with this system. And, also depending on the traffic density at different junctions, it controls the traffic light through remote operation. Number 7, Closed Loop Control of Brushless DC Motor The purpose of implementing this circuit is to run mechanical loads at desired speeds by designing a closed loop system for brushless DC motor. Closed loop operation uses a feedback system to compare the actual speed with the desired one. It allows a user to enter the desired speed from a matrix keypad. A control circuit receives this information, compares the actual speed sensed by the speed sensor and correspondingly sends the PWM signals to the motor. Number 8, Non-Intrusive Elderly Smart Home, NESH Non-Intrusive Elderly Smart Home, NESH will equip the elderly people's homes with a set of sensors that will monitor them non-intrusively. It makes a use of Arduino MKR1000 promotion sensor, solderless breadboard half size, buzzer, LED. The data from these sensors will be collected centrally using Azure IT Services Suite. The data can be accessed remotely by social care services or relatives. The data can also be shared with family doctor or hospital trust. Number 9 Home Automation System Using Arduino Microcontroller Home Automation System is a centralized control of vac, heating, ventilation and air conditioning, and lighting appliances. This system uses Arduino Development Board with attached Bluetooth communication for remote controlling of home appliances. At the transmitter end, a graphical user interface application allows the user to send on off commands to the receiver where the loads are connected. An Arduino board operates loads through opto isolators or traic arrangements by receiving commands from the user's cell phone. Number 10, Electronic Soft Start for a Three-Phase Induction Motor. This project is designed to reduce the starting current of a three-phase induction motor, thereby providing smooth start. There are several conventional methods used for starting the induction motor. But, all these are more costly and have some loopholes as well, so this solid state method control provides an efficient starting control. This uses six silicon controlled rectifiers connected in twos across the three phase induction motor. Here, a set of lamps are used to represent the coils of the three phase induction motor. Thus, the control unit sends triggering signals to thyristors at the start of the induction motor. These are the top 10 innovative ideas in electrical engineering compared to different application areas. If you want any technical help to implement these ideas in a practical approach or some more new project ideas in electrical engineering, you can leave us a comment in the comment section below. The links to the above projects are listed in the description below.